Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing an oil change on the 2019 Forerunner. Uh, this is gonna apply to all fifth gen models. First thing you wanna do is grab a 10 millimeter socket and get under your vehicle. There's this plastic uh, valence, it's kinda like a skid plate. There's five bolts. Pull those off real quick. Once you get those five off, there's this little plastic button. Um, get your fingernails under there, pry it off, it's easy enough. And then just let the whole thing slide down. Next thing you're gonna do is grab a 12 millimeter socket. There are four bolts holding in the actual skid plate that protects your oil filter. Little trick I like to do is to uh, take off one of the ones in the back all the way and then take off another one in the back. Partially, you'll see why here in a second. Um, so now I'm gonna get this 12 millimeter bolt down. You see how the skid plate dropped there just a little bit. It's actually sitting on hinges. Um, you'll see those work here in a second. So I'm gonna get that second bolt off in the front before going back to the one in the back that I had taken off most of the way. And then when I have all four bolts out, I just take it out a little bit and it drops down super easy. All right, so move on to the back skid plate. This is the one that's holding up the drain pan. Um, skid plate, the one that is protecting your drain plug, if you will, that's still a 12 millimeter. Grab an oil filter wrench. Um, I have one from AutoZone and I have one that I bought online. Uh, the one I bought online is way better. Into the creek, big boy. Much more sturdy. This is Wrangler, he's the supervisor. He's been rolling around down the creek a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we're back to the oil filter. There's this small little silver clip um, that keeps your oil filter in line. You can usually take a flathead screwdriver to pop it off. I couldn't find mine. Um, well, I could find mine, but it was just in the garage. I had some pliers. Try to get off the pliers. That didn't work. In all honesty, you can just pull it off with your fingers. Should work as long as you don't work in accounting. Um, just rip that little thing off. I think it's just to keep the oil filter in line. There's nothing too crazy about it. All right, so slip your uh, oil filter wrench on there. It takes a 3 8 ratchet to start twisting it off. Get it going pretty quick, not too bad. You'll notice that little silver medallion thing that's at the bottom of the canister. Um, that takes the 3 8 ratchet and you can put a ratchet in there, pop that little silver uh, circle off and then take a plastic piece, jam it up in there and let the oil drain out. I don't like doing that, I just go ahead and make a mess. Um, but if you wanna take that off first and drain it out the proper way, there is a little uh, O-ring behind it that you do have to replace, not a big deal, but I just choose to go ahead and make a big mess. Seems to be easier. I feel like you're gonna make a mess anyway, so just go ahead and make one. All right, so once you made your big mess, it's time to pull uh, out your new oil filter. I don't really know the difference between the one on the left and the one on the right. I think it's just where you buy it from. I bought the one on the right from O'Reilly's. The one on the left, I think, came from AutoZone. Um, I don't really know what the difference is between that plastic part on the new oil filter is. If somebody knows what that is, let me know in the comments section. I've been curious for a while now. But they both seem to work fine. Replace your oil, uh, not the oil, uh, replace the little O-ring um, that comes with it. Make sure to soak it in oil before you slip it back over. It's always a good call. And then as easy as you brought it down, just stick it back in there. Clean it off a little bit. And then tighten it up. Let's move on to the back. This is the drain plug. It's a 14 millimeter socket. You'll need an extension for it. I just use an impact. It seems to be long enough. Open it up, let it flow. And then once it's done draining, make sure to put it back. Clean it up so you can check for leaks later. Snug that up, not too tight. Then after this, we can move on to the oil. All right, so your Forerunner, it's gonna take 6.6 .6 quarts of OW20. I use the fully synthetic. Um, I think that's what Toyota calls for. After you're finished with that, make sure you go back under, check for leaks around your oil filter canister, and also check for leaks around the drain plug, and then put your skid plates back on. That's it.